Washington continues to stress the door for dialogue with North Korea is open. The U.S. State Department laid out three conditions Pyongyang must meet in order to start talks. Connie Kim tells us what they are. North Korea must seize its nuclear and missile tests, as well as halt its provocative rhetoric that hinders regional stability. Washington says it's willing to hold talks with Pyongyang, and meeting these three conditions will be a good starting point. We would like to have talks with him when the time is right, when they show that they are serious, serious about uh, an effort to move toward denuclearization. We have not seen that yet. Remember, uh, and let me go back to this again, two nuclear tests last year, two anti uh, ICBM tests in a month alone. We have not seen that they've been serious at this point. North also reaffirmed the annual Seoul-Washington joint military drills will be taking place as scheduled next week flatly rejecting China and Russia's calls for a suspension of the exercise in exchange for a stop to North Korea's provocations. These specific conditions for dialogue come as tensions on the Korean peninsula and Guam flared up with North Korea announcing its missile strike plan on Guam and Trump warning unprecedented retaliation. While Kim Jong-un held off on his Guam plan and will watch the U.S. a bit longer, Washington continues to stress it wants to resolve the tensions diplomatically. U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson reiterated that the U.S. is still open to negotiations with North Korea over its nuclear weapons program, stressing the ball is in Kim Jong-un's court. Connie Kim, Arirang News.